Good afternoon. We look again back at First Timothy 6 1, where Blake is going to try to defend the issue of slavery because it's allowed, try to make it part of the, the institutions that God has set up there. The church, the bride, the church, Christ, church, the family, marriage. Those are all good. He's going to say slavery was allowed. Doesn't mean it was good. But he has to make it good to defend his confederate ancestors. 540 in. Something a lot of people don't like to hear is that in the Bible, God allowed for slavery. But he did. It in the Bible, God allowed for slavery. Everything else here, people, was instituted by God. The church, the pastor, the family, family. Everything was instituted by, church, by, by, by God. God allowed slavery. He didn't institute slavery. In the time of the Apostle Paul, there were servants or slaves. Servants or slaves. See, he, he's using them interchangeable people. There were servants and slaves in the time of Paul. He calls them, he calls servants slaves. But not every servant is a slave. Not every servant is a slave, people. But that's what he wants you to believe. And there were saved masters and there were saved slaves. And there were saved servants who weren't slaves. But he wants you to tell you, tell you that they're the same. And Paul tells these slaves how they're supposed to treat their masters. And Paul tells the masters how they're supposed to sleep. Uh, treat their slaves. He's regulating slavery. But there are servants who aren't slaves. And the fact is that he, because God regulates something or allows something doesn't mean he wants something. He wants it. He regulated divorce as well. And as we've gone through verse by verse studying the epistles of Paul, we see over and over and over again the society of a Christian way or the Christian setup of how society should be. The man is the head of the family, the wife is under the husband, the children are under him, and if they have slaves, if there are servants, the if they are if they have slaves, if there are servants. If they have slaves, if there are servants. Get that people. He's putting slavery right in here with the with the church and the family, and the marriage. He's putting slavery right in there. Like it's part of all those good things. He's putting in there because Paul regulated slavery. Paul, you know, preached regulation of slavery. God, God is regulating slavery. He's putting slavery as a good thing along with family and marriage and the church. Servants are to obey their masters. This is the way, the hierarchy, if you will. This is the way that God set it up. There's no slaves today. So what would happen? Uh, there's still pastors today. There's still the church today. There's still family today. But Robert Breaker says he doesn't want to be a slave one or a slave. Why not? All the other stuff is good. Breaker. And we looked at last time how... The devil has done everything he can to destroy it because he doesn't want it this way. So if you go after slaves and say there shouldn't be slaves, according to Robert Baker, you're doing the devil's work. See, the devil goes after the family, he goes after the, the husband's authority, he goes after the wife, goes after the children, tax the children, goes after, so he tax the family, goes after the pastor's authority, goes after the local church, right? But if you go after slaves... You're doing the devil's work. Because according to Robert Breaker, slavery, St. Hopkins said, slavery is of God. Because they say God allows it. So if you say, wait a minute, you shouldn't, no man should be a slave. Oh, you're doing the devil's work. <laughs> because they've got slavery, or servants as they call them, right in there with the hierarchy. With family, marriage, the church. That's what you want you to think slavery is about. Even though he'll say, oh, I don't want to be a slave. I don't own slaves. Why not? You want to be married. You want to have children. 
you want to be part of a local church, why don't you want to have slaves? Robert? God allows it, according to you. So it must be good. Just hypocrisy in this guy. These guys can't think. They can't see. Deaf, dumb, and blind. Deaf, dumb, and blind. I'll stop here and put this up. Amen, thank you.